Welcome to our Close to My Heart Twisted Sister YouTube hop for January 2023. My name is Sandy Zimmer, and I'm a Close to My Heart maker. I have chosen to twist the Eastern Gnomes Z4682 from our January-March catalog. You can get this catalog online at sandyzim.closetomyheart.ca. So I have gone ahead and die cut two images for each of the gnomes. I'm stamping one the regular way, and then I'm going to show you how to alter the second one. So here I've stamped on a post-it note, and I've cut out that part of the post-it note where I want to create a mask, and I'm applying it to the unstamped die cut. And then I'm going to carefully position my stamp over the top of that and stamp the image and then remove that mask. So you can see that the ears aren't stamped and I can just fill that in with my journaling pen and then snip those ears off. So this little Nomi is no longer an Easter Nomi. Well, she is holding an egg, but that's okay. We'll take care of that a little later. Next, I have this little fellow who's pushing the wheelbarrow. So again, I create a mask using a post-it note, cut that image out, put it on my die cut, and then stamp over top. So once again, I grab my journaling pen and I'm gonna draw those pieces back in. They're pretty easy peasy to do, but I do make a little bit of a blunder here, but that's okay, I work with it. So again, I snip off those ears and well, if he's not gonna be an Easter gnome, he doesn't need that egg in his wheelbarrow. So I snipped that off as well. We're gonna add some stuff in there later. This little guy doesn't have any ears, so I didn't have to do any altering with him. We'll take care of him a little later. This little girl still has ears, so we do the same procedure, creating a mask and then stamping. Of course, she has the egg and the basket. We're gonna take care of those in a bit as well. So we draw in the parts of her hat and we snip off those ears and that tiny little egg. I will snip off that basket a little farther down the line. So here you will see the altered images and then the unaltered images, just for a bit of comparison. I'm gonna use both sets later on. I decide to use these little flowers from kind of a pig deal stamp set. And I decide to add some more later, but you'll see when it comes up. And I know I don't need this basket because that's Easter and we're changing that up and we don't need this egg either. I do cut her hand apart as well, but I don't actually use it down the road. So then off camera, I color these in using my tri-blend markers and the gold paint pen, have some fun with those. And then I'm gonna start to put some things together. So I am using this storybook scrapbooking stamp set I love the images on this. I love the little dragon and I love the rainbow. So I'm going to use those images from the gnome set and I'm going to just place them on my rainbow. Kind of tuck her in there and then you never even really know she had a body. We take that little wing off the dragon, sort of um, wiggle this little girl in there so her hand is over the top of the dragon like she's hanging on and then her head gets tucked in behind so we don't know she's been cut apart. Then I also grab that wing that I cut off the dragon, lift it up a little bit and tuck it in behind her. So it looks kind of like an extension off the back of the dragon. I just love how that turned out. Isn't he cute? So then I start to um, assemble this onto my card and I decide that I wanna use the Make-A-Wish sentiment from the Floating By stamp set. Now that is a retired stamp set, but I really wanted it to say Floating By. So you'll see that I'm just sort of layering the images onto a five by seven card base, which by the way, we now carry. And here you can see that I'm using the Lucky to Know You stamp set. I created a cluster with those little shamrocks. And of course I added that Irish blessing. You'll get a better picture of it a little later down the road. So here's what I'm talking about. I tucked that flower underneath um, this little Nomi's arm. And then I actually cut the carrot off and used um, it in behind as well. And so this is from the kind of a pig deal, which who would ever think to use this, right? With little gnomies, but I love it. So we're gonna use that sentiment, love you so much. 
And I'm going to show you how to use some other products that are new in this catalog as well, which is the card front pattern stencils and the card front shape stencils. So I start with the inside banner, or pardon me, I guess the outside of the banner, creating the inside banner. And I'm just going to use some washi tape and hold that in place on my card front. Here I'm using a regular card base, just a four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm using that Capri ink and these fabulous blender, blender brushes, pardon me, that we have in our core catalog. They are new in our core catalog and I absolutely love them. I highly recommend them. I have bought some on Amazon and I'm not loving them as much. True story. So I highly recommend these ones. I'm trying that little Nomi out just to see if I like them there and I do. I'm grabbing that sentiment, inking it up in Capri, and then deciding on the placement, get that gnome out of the way, and put that on. Now, I could stop there, but I decide that I want to use um, the card front pattern stencils to add a little interest to this card base. So I'm using the shape one to cover up what I've already done. And then I'm adding this one over top, again, just um, taping it in place with some washi tape and going over top of it. Of course, that acetate banner is stopping the ink from going where I have previously inked. And then the openings on this other acetate are allowing the ink to go through. So this is such a wonderful and easy technique. It creates a pretty one dimensional card or scrapbook page or whatever you decide to do. Isn't that pretty? And uh, so now I just go around the edge with that um, blender brush again with the Capri and just add a little bit of ink just so that, you know, it sort of brings it all together. And if I missed any spots, it covers up anything that I missed. So I put my little Nomi in place here. And then I grab that card front pattern again. And I use that first piece that I used, second piece I used, I guess I should say, and set it over top of the banner. And I'm using this gold paint pens and using that acetate to give me a perfect line because I know it's the same size because, well, I used it before and just create a line around there with the gold. I'm using the gold paint pens to just fill in the centers of these flowers. And then I just love to doodle. So I'm going around the edges here with the gold paint pen. This is the fine one that I'm using. There are three in the in the um, package a medium and a broad tip as well and then you'll see here in a second that i'm going to use the medium one and create three larger dots along the bottom and then i'm going to go back to that fine tip one and just randomly add clusters of three dots or one dot just to add a little bit more glitz and interest to the card we can all use a little more sparkle in our life right so hopefully you can see that. So here is the Irish Blessing one. And then here is the one with the dragon that I've created. And you'll get a better shot of those later on. And there again are all of the stamp sets that I've used to create these. Okay. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to use those originals. And I'm going to do this on a slim line. So you'll see there's the Capri and I've given you the sizes there. If you want to stop it and zoom in on it, you can see this is the avocado and I'm tearing it. I love that our papers have a white core. So it creates kind of a fun little um, dimension. And our papers are also two sided in that one's a dark side and one's a light side. So you'll see here that that avocado, I've layered the dark side over top of the light side. And then I've gone ahead and I've sort of cut apart these little nomies, the original ones, so that I can slide his body underneath and then that carrot and the egg are gonna stay over top. I'm a little bit off camera here, sorry for that, but you'll see it again in a second when I do the wheelbarrow guy. And then this little lady again, I cut that basket apart a little bit so it can be over top of the grass line. And she's in behind, so it looks like she's reaching. And I just love this little sentiment, have an Easter like no other. It just had to happen, it had to go on there. So I'm stamping it on the green avocado at the bottom there. And you know what? I had one little Nomi left over. What am I gonna do with that? Well, I've got an envelope. 
So I put it on the front of the envelope. I grabbed our watercolor pencils and I just added a little bit of gray there just to give her a base, something to sit on to. Those other gnomies had grass, she's got nothing. And then I just attach her to the front. So there you have it. You have the cards with the regular and the ones without. Thank you for watching this Twisted Sister YouTube hop. Again, my name is Sandy Zimmer. And you can purchase items from my website at sandyzim.closetomyheart.ca. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. You can even leave a sweet comment or ring the bell. And check out the playlist um, that will be listed in the comments below, as well as some other ordering details. Thanks so much for watching. See you next round.